Hey guys, what's going on? It is Miles here, and yes, today I have that free countdown plugin for you guys for Final Cut Pro. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I'm gonna go over it very briefly with you, and we'll go from there. All right, so once you download the file, this is what you'll see. Uh, you'll unzip that file. This is what you'll see right here. Notice right here, it's at 30 frames per second. This is super important. I'm going to show you why in just a second. Now, once you have those into your Final Cut Pro uh, text folder, if you guys don't know how to do that, I can show you how to import those or transfer them into the folder, the proper folder that it needs to be in so that Final Cut Pro can read them. Um, or you can just search YouTube. I mean, there's tons of videos on it. So. But just let me know. <laughs> anyway, this is what you'll see. It is Miles Elwa countdown, 30 frames per second. And this is why I said it's super important that it's 30 frames per second. For instance, if you have this one minute video, here, let's create a new uh, project so I can explain to you. If I create this in 60 frames per second, so I'm gonna just keep it untitled and it's gonna create a new project. So here's my untitled project. If I go to my uh, text and put in a one minute in my 60 frames per second timeline this is what you'll see it'll start at 30 seconds it's like doubling it time is 30 frames per second and you're putting it in a 60 frames per second timeline you're doubling it and so it halves the time if that makes any sense i probably jacked that up <laughs> when i was saying it but i'm pretty sure it makes sense to you so this is why it's super important to keep it in a 30 frames per second timeline and it's okay for those who like to edit in 24 frames per second it's totally fine we're not doing a super cinematic you know uh, countdown sequence it's, it's it's a countdown and so it's gonna be okay <laughs> so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna go overhead head back to your countdown to that project and you're going to modify and change that to oh there's already something on the clip so we're gonna have to delete that then we can go to the modify and change that to 30 frames per second and then title it whatever you want to title it but just for the sake of this video we're just going to leave it as an untitled project so go ahead and open that up go back to your countdowns you drag that in and it's going to be a true one minute yes this is super cool so um this is very customizable i've created it in such a way if you go over here where you have total control of this countdown so you can fade it in and, and fade it out so if you like it just to start solid you can do that most people like to have it the option to fade in uh, you could change the font to whatever and the cool thing about this is um, it was created in a way where it doesn't get you just the jittery over here you know when it scrolls through the numbers uh, you can go through any text and it's gonna just be clean it's gonna be right there uh, you're not getting a weird pop out pop in, pop out pop in you know type of deal and so change it to whatever font um, you can add a drop shadow obviously there's no background to this right now but let me just go over to a project that I was working on so you can see um, here's one right here I just added a mountain uh, and you can see the countdown right here right on top I just added a two minute countdown and it's pretty simple pretty straightforward I just have a simple font fade in fade out um, you know I added some music to it you know and this is one of the free countdowns that I'll be giving away just keeping it simple uh, there's gonna be one that has you know your will begin you know in it's gonna have a sorry let me turn that down it's gonna have a, a let's begin in um, or we'll begin in I create a Spanish version um, there you go there you have it and I'm looking at this thing and not that so sorry about that um, but to show you how much customization custom custom my billet to customize it you go over here to this side over here uh, you can even add a, a 3d text to it like I look full parameters <laughs> um, you can change the weight this the depth of it you can change the color uh, let's go yellow I don't know it doesn't look good but I mean it's subjective whatever you guys like do whatever this is yours feel free be creative if you don't want it up there drag it down to a lower third over here I mean shrink the text if you want to let me take that 3d off or oh, change your environment you can change the you know the, the 
font edge or the front. You could change the front edges, um, the lighting style if you want it to be lit from below or you know medium right or what. Just it's it's so customizable. It might be too customizable, honestly, but you have the option. So let's just take that off, uh, the 3D text off. If you want to change the size, uh, if you want to change tracking. Uh, the slant I mean it is endless I want you guys to enjoy this countdown be creative now full disclaimer right here this is the only thing I couldn't figure out in motion so you have to start your countdowns at the beginning of your timeline in order for it to keep that true time right there was a workaround so let me explain what I was talking about so if I move this down over here six seconds in you'll see that it's going to start the time, if it will play, six seconds in at 1.54. Now, there is a workaround for this. Once you've created your text or your, your countdown and you have the position, everything, where you want it and the color and all that stuff, once you customized it already, just right click, hit a new compound clip. Now it will start at that true countdown two minutes so well I hope you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up share it to those who you think might benefit from a Final Cut Pro countdown clock uh, it could be used for anything services uh, YouTube videos whatever you can even think of it is yours it is free also please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell gotta hit them gotta hit the bell if you want to receive notifications so well guys be blessed and until next time